Hi, Mark Suter here. This is my first attempt at launching Unity through Amazon AppStream, uh, which is a cloud-based uh, way to deliver desktop, desktop applications like Unity. So this is what it looks like. I signed in, and the basic process so far has been... Uh, this is probably going to cost money. I, I have no idea. We'll find out later. Um, you create a stack, and I'm watching uh, this YouTube tutorial by Masters of Cloud, by the way. Um, you create a stack, which is, I guess, like the server itself. Uh, fleets are like the groups of uh, delivery of servers, uh, which I'm not going to make because I only have one, the Unity one. Um, and so what I've done so far is I created a uh, image, which is now running. It took about 10 minutes for it to go from starting to running. Um, and so now if I click this and hit connect, which I've already done, it takes you here. So now this is like a web-based cloud server, um, not my local computer. This is the cloud-based one. And from here, I am going to just download the uh, Unity and install it. And then I'm going to save this version of cloud windows as an image uh, so that I can run it. So I'm going to download Unity now. Pause. Okay, I've downloaded and installed Unity Hub. I have verified my education license, and now I'm going to add an installation of 2019 and Visual Studio. And we're still installing now is Visual Studio. So we've got Hub installed, we've got Unity installed, uh, and Visual Studio with that. It's time to make an image out of this. So we're gonna launch the image assistant. And what apps should the user, like the student, be able to run? Well, obviously we're gonna want them to be able to run each one of these. So I'm just gonna get the shortcut here, copy that location, paste it in here, make sure you take off the quotation marks or else it won't work. Okay. Unity Hub. Nice. Save. Add app. If they want to go directly into Unity, that's great. Copy that. Paste that minus the quotation marks. Unity. I'm going to put 2019 on there. Uh, save. Great. They should probably be able to run Visual Studio. I don't know why there's two of them. Uh, let's open file location of that. Programs, Visual Studio 19. Get the properties of that. Copy that. Add app. Paste. Take off the exclamation points. Enter. Dev env. That's not very helpful. Visual Studio 29. Ooh, 2019. Oh, oh gosh, it does not like that. How about that? Okay. Now it's happy. And I want them to also be able to, uh, you know, go Google things or DuckDuckGo things or whatever. So we will also add. Firefox. Enter. Firefox. Great. Save. Next. Uh, in the tutorial I watched, they didn't do anything on this part. Um, I'm just going to leave it so the user sees the apps as the default, as just as I installed them. So I'm going to hit next on this part and instead just test as the student without doing any further configuration of the apps. So to test as a student, I hit that, go to test user. Now I am pretending to be uh, the student, they're at home, and they just logged in here to the AppStream 2.0 running Unity Hub. Uh, let's add, let's do a new project using 2019.3. Call this delete me. And I guess it's going there. Let's put it on the desktop actually. 
Uh, sure, let's do a 3D app. There we go, we'll let that launch. Even though it gave me that error, it still launched Unity 3D, so it appears to work pretty good here. There's my scenes, let's dock some windows over here, let's test out the performance a little bit. Let's, uh, actually, let's try connecting to the asset store. Uh, in our scene view, let's just create some things. I don't know. We'll create a plane and hit F to focus. Yeah, that works. Good 3D object. Let's put a sphere in here, put that up in the air. Let's add a cube. It's actually pretty responsive so far. Um, my sphere here, let's uh, collapse that. Let's, uh, let's add a rigid body to that. Using gravity, of course. It's got a collider on there. Let's do something similar to the uh, box collider. Let's add rigid body. Very good. Let's hit play. Let's just see what happens. Yeah, it plays about the same speed as it does on my computer, and I have a fairly decent build of a computer. Uh, let's copy and paste those, and I don't know, I'm basically just going to try to crash it. Um, I could write a little script that would just spawn it, but this is more fun, I guess. I don't know. Whee! And we'll just paste, 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 paste. And then we'll take all these. I don't know which ones are what anymore. I don't know. Let's just see what happens. Let's hit play. Okay, so several things have happened since I paused the recording. One is uh, I forgot to save my scene, so I had to rebuild something. Um, Second of all, uh, when I tried to attach a script and launch Visual Studio, it said Visual Studio, or the computer needs to be restarted before you can complete setting up Visual Studio. And so what I had to do was um, basically stop the entire server itself back in the app stream and then boot it back up. So that took about 10 or 15 minutes to stop it and then reconnect. Um, so now I'm still connected as a student and if I hit play on here, um, these are just these egg shaped spheres I made just to show that you can actually do that. Um, but this one red one here, I'm going to try adding a component. Hello world two. Let's make that a new script. Should probably name that correctly. Um, hello world. And that should be capitalized too. Sorry. Oh my goodness. There we go. So now that's added. Let's see if because we stopped and restarted the server, if we can now double click and it's looking promising. Whew. It's launching Visual Studio, which is great. And we're going to make sure that all of this stuff launches correctly. Uh, nope, not now. Not now, Visual Studio, dark, start, pause. Okay, so we launched and I typed in this line debug log, hello cloud world. And now let's go, oops, make sure I'm actually in the cloud world. We'll get our console open. So on the start, the red egg should, hey, it worked, that's great. Okay, so I'm gonna stop that. Control S. I know it goes to this desktop, but I presume that's unique to each student that will log in. Uh, we're going to switch user, go back to administrator, 